Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Maokai top lane the easy way. For this build, we have Grass Demolish, Second Wind Overgrowth, Mana Flow Transcendence with Attack Speed, Double Resistances. So Attack Speed, Double Armor against Olaf. Against Teemo, we would go Double Magic Resist. For our build, we actually want to go for Winter's Approach first item. Since we start with tier, it gives us pretty much infinite sustain. And then we can get Winter's Approach with only 2,200 more gold. This is cheaper than any other item we could possibly rush. Plus, Winter's Approach gives us a crazy big shield whenever we CC the enemies. Once it's finished, like once it is Fimble Winter. We get a constantly a massive shield only on eight second cooldown and the shield does last for a couple of seconds got to auto into q i can tank a hit even oh here's olaf i'll ignite him you keep autos on him auto into q down he goes i'll tank this for the rengar olaf tops and warwick tops are pretty cheesy to where they will kind of do stuff like that so at this point, since I did get that early gold, I'm missing a lot of health, I would just TP back to lane. This isn't normally what happens though. Typically on Maokai, you are not going to get a kill before you're level 6 or before you get a gank because your damage output is predictable. Although it's not low, it is predictable because <laughs> they get used to what your Q cooldown is and that's your primary source of damage. Should have more XP than him, I think. Just a little bit. We're looking to poke enemies with Q whenever mana flows up. Well, that's kind of scary. If I could get a grasp up, what we want to do is step forward and get him with an auto into Q. He's not letting me do it though. He's sitting really far back. Very far back. Get a point in our W. Our grasp is up. He's not really stepping forward for this trade. We'll poke him with the mana flow. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect. Once you get used to the range of it, you can usually poke the enemy champions without pushing the wave too hard. Most of the time, you don't want to push wave on Maokai, especially if your opponent has all in potential against you, like a Darius or an Olaf. Just queue him away. We're chilling. Range champs can be much more difficult, for sure. You have to play slower and just let them come to you. The only matchups you can shove down are other tank top laners, because we have a lot of AoE clear with our whole queue, the circle and the tip. All of it. Uh, is damage auto and a w we don't want to miss that cannon it's okay to use an ability to farm with uh, especially in a situation like that because we didn't really lose anything to do that do not want to give up a cannon for no reason auto into q perfect our passive gives us loads of health back whenever it's up and we auto something just keep an eye on that other than poking people down with your Q whenever mana flows up, we're looking to go in for an auto attack when Grasp is up. So you see that's up now. We've been in combat whenever you take damage from anything or do damage. We want to step forward, find the auto into Q. Very solid trade. The Grasp gives us permanent scaling HP, does some damage, and gives us a bit of healing. There's our Grasp. He's fighting us on all of our minions, so he doesn't really win that. All right, not bad. We'll go ahead and pop potion. Typically when you're below half health is when you'll use your potions. He's completely out of mana. Don't really know where his jungler is though. Let's get our grasp up. We can knock him towards that bush here. We get him with the Q. Pull him towards the bush. Auto W. We were able to secure that kill by, by playing around our minions and our sapling. Minions do loads of damage. And your sapling and bush lasts longer and does more damage and more slow as well. So by snaring them, you hold them still to the sapling. And we can also cue them into the sapling. Olaf needed to back off and just basically let Avalon kill me, but he was being greedy. We'll go ahead and pick up boots and finish, finish the winner's approach. After winner's approach, if the enemy jungler and top laner are opposite damage types, then you want jack show. If they're the same damage type, if they're both physical damage, you want to go for Sunfire Aegis. But since Evelyn's AP, Olaf's 80, plus he has true damage, Jack Show is going to be better than Sunfire at this point. You don't need Sunfire to shove waves. Sunfire does way more damage against champions than it does against minions. Go ahead and set our E in the bush. After you W, you generally have time to auto with any Q. So I can W, move slightly behind him, auto Q, and push him wherever I want him to go. My mana flows up. I would like to apply that. He's sitting pretty far back. Okay, with an auto Q, we disengage. It's a very mana efficient trade and I can heal myself back with passive. 
Go in for another auto cute. My grasp is down though, so. There we go. It hits everything in the circle. So even if you're facing away from the target, if it's still within the circle, it'll hit it. So there I was able to get the cannon and still hit Olaf auto into Q. This is not a good matchup for Olaf because he needs to stay in auto attack range and I can constantly push him off me with my Q. We'll poke him with it there. Get him lower. He has a self shield. He also gets a lot of healing the lower on healthiest. We used our passive there. We'll fight this auto QR. Down he goes. We had the burst plus with the ignite. We can chop down his heal cut quite a bit. Olaf's top's actually very meta right now. It's tricky to pull off. You need to know what you're playing it into. Evelyn's dead. I'll stay for plate. So of course, whenever our passes up, our next auto heals us. Using an ability or being hit by an enemy champion's ability reduces the cooldown by four seconds. Being hit by a large or epic monster attacks or abilities also reduces the cooldown. So basically, you use abilities, or if you're getting hit by abilities, your passive's on a very short cooldown. That's why when you're tanking, if you can stay alive, you heal up so much and then the enemies can't figure out, like, why isn't this guy dying? Okay, waves pushed. We'll back off a little bit. He'll have to deal with those. No way he gives those up. He won't be able to reach me even once he sees me. His axe on cooldown. Later, my guy. He has to pick up axe to put it on a shortened cooldown. <laughs> I'm pinching the Rengar there. It's kind of funny. All right, here we go. So Winter's Approach loads his stats right now. 400 health, 500 mana, 15 ability haste. The Oz currently giving us an extra 117 health. So it's really 517 health right now. And we're stacking up the mana just by using autos or attacks. You have to hit something with it though. So I can't just spam Q on my way back to lane. And once it's fully stacked, we'll have Bimble Winter. And then whenever we slow or mobilize the enemy. So my Q slow or the Q knock or my R snare or my W snare or my E slow. All of those tools we can apply our Fimble Winter. Shield lasts for three seconds. And on top of that, it's only an eight second cooldown. So there's really only about a five second window of when you're not shielded. I'll go ahead and push. Uh, Evelyn's top side. Against Evelyn, once she's six, you need to get your wards on camps because she'll just walk over them. So you want to get it like on her blue, her gromp, her raptors, uh, herald, that type of stuff. We'll W2 him, knock him away with Q, and we're chilling. Timed out her charm there. His axe, he has it to pick it up. We'll get him with an auto into Q. Evelyn slowed. We'll W her. She can't R me. She's waiting to R and down they go. So nice try by them. Very, very forced though. We'll go ahead and push the wave. Set this up. Auto into W. We want to max W second E last. Go ahead, put the E in the bush to play around. We'll go ahead and take plate with demolish TP back to lane. Right after I clear this wave. Just need a little bit more. Got it. Had to step forward to get that range of minion. Need to get the heck out of here before Evelyn gets here and Olaf gets here. I shouldn't miss out on that plate. The turret's gonna kill my minions in time. Perfect. Alrighty, so at this stage we want to get tier 2 boots. They're definitely physical damage heavy. And then we'll play it into Jack Show. It's perfect. We're in a great spot right now. You shouldn't necessarily expect to get kills on Maokai Pre-6. You're just focusing on stacking up your mana flows, taking good grass trades. So when your grass is up, we auto and then queue them away. It's that simple, but getting kills, it just depends on the matchup. So auto queue, good trade for us. We'll put sapling and bush. I have such a gold advantage on him here. We'll auto Q him towards my little sapling. Get him with the W, Q, R. He's ignited. Sapling and bush, auto. He's dead. He's trying to auto to stay alive because he gets a bunch of life still the lower he is. But since he's heal cut, it doesn't matter. He can't play this matchup anymore. Maokai is extremely oppressive. And certain matchups like this against really short range auto attack champs like Trin, Olaf. On top of that, we have a gold lead. So kind of no matter what he does, we could just stand there and almost auto him to death. 
And we're never going to run out of health and mana. Passive giving us health. And obviously, uh, Winter's Approach giving us an ungodly amount of mana. Let's get some vision with my sapling. We want to see when this guy's coming. There it is. Keep him from getting the turret. Auto into Q. We'll time him out. Here goes his R. Evelyn must be here. He's acting weird. Got him with my double sapling. All right. Yeah, I have no clue where Eve's at. Her blue and Gromp are down. I should have left this ward on her Gromp for when it spawns. He has some life still on his item here. Sapling and bush for vision. We can get him with a W. Step behind him. Auto into Q. I don't really want to miss CS for this. So probably shouldn't have it done that. Still got the experience from it. Hey, bud. Auto Q. Drop the sapling. Yeah, goodbye, my friend. That's what he gets. He was trying to stop me from getting to the minions with constant Q spam. But at the end of the day... If he gets in range for me to turn with W, he's a goner. Demolish is ready to be used. The cooldown isn't that long on it. Not long at all. Avalon's blue's coming up. If you have full control of the lane, you can basically just use saplings on the side bushes so you don't get ganked. If Eve's invisible, she will be able to walk through these though. Sit one right there so we can see Olaf coming. I got some mana from that for my winner's approach. I'm going to get first turret. Clearly, I'm not risk at not getting first turrets. So that's why I'm kind of just letting the turret mulch all my minions. We'll queue him away. Time him out. Nice. 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 Auto into queue. This is a plate gold plus first turret gold bonus. First turret gold is a bonus of 150, so half a kill. The plate itself is worth 175, which is over half a kill. So me breaking that little piece right there was over 300 gold total. About 325. Now that we have our turret, we don't necessarily want to sit on the split. We're semi-immobile. We only have escapes through our QCC and Q slow. We do see the Eve's bot side sitting on full jack show. Against self-healing matchups is when you really have to take Ignite. If you're in just a normal matchup against someone who doesn't perma self-heal, then uh, you can go flash TP for extra safety. All in all, though, with how you're going to be playing on Maokai early game, not really pushing, looking to just auto into Q or just raw Q for mana flow stacks. Max out your mana and get some mana regeneration. Um, you won't necessarily need flash. Hey, Jin. I don't think I actually kill anybody here. I'll get down my RE. Dude, Milio still had his R. I was nowhere close to ever killing them. That's sad. Got my E. W auto into Q. We're not going to get a kill here. 10 out of 10, not worth. I'll just TP. I didn't realize how behind my laners are. The town's 0 and 5. We could take Herald at this point. I do prefer to group after we take turrets. Just kind of where my laners are at right now. It's not the best. Nearly, It's nearly finished. Just one more attack and we're there. I think Olaf's possibly on his red. And now we have Fimble Winter. Slowing the enemy champions will give us a shield for uh, 3 seconds. Someone just took Harold, or not Harold, but Scuttle. I prefer Ringar didn't take this, but it's whatever, I guess. Ah, uh, what a turd. He just came in and stole the 200 gold. Whoever kills it gets 200, and then the nearby ally gets 100. <clears throat> I didn't need him there to do that. And I can kill Olaf on the split with my Ignite plus item advantage. I probably do need some kind of speed up item to get away from Olaf once he gets tier 2 boots. Because if Olaf hits you with auto attacks or his E, both short range attacks, then it 
perpetuates his R. His R makes him immune to CC, and it also gives him uh, the extra attack damage. Basically, you want to time out his R. You don't want to just stand there and trade autos with him when he's doing it. Treat Olaf like you treat Warwick. <laughs> Never want to stand there and just slug out autos. And my grasp isn't up. That's okay. Auto into Q. There's my grasp. Get him with a Q. There's my grasp and the Q. He's lost all of his health. He kind of has to back. I could have tried to all in him there. I think he still has his shield though, and I would have tanked the turret. The Q range is super long. Very similar to a Thresh auto. Grasp is ready. We can auto Q and jump to a minion like this. Auto Q. Jump away to a minion. Should have jumped away to the farther one. Getting these grass is giving us some permanent HP, which is nice. Do you see those shields I'm getting every time my uh, winter is up? My Fimble winter? It's up right now. We can W auto Q. Oh, she actually landed it. Well played to them. I didn't think she was going to be able to get the charm like that. It's a huge shutdown for the Olaf. He's going to be somewhat problematic here. We'll go ahead, pick up some Sunfire. We'll get Demonic. Last item. Ooh, man. That's a tough one. When Olaf's on his R, Frozen Heart won't slow his attack speed. So I'd either be a Dead Man's Force of Nature or Thornmel. Not a big fan of Thornmel. This is generally why the once you take the enemy turret, you group. Because you're easy. There's so much space for them to come up behind you. And it's Maokai, you don't have a speed up in your kit. So if I did have a ward on Gromp, so I had vision of this area, I could W over the wall. Other than that, though, we're not really going to be able to get away at that point. Oh, Rengar dies. Rip. Jin has sorcery tree as well, so he's going to scale loads. This is like waiting for us to walk into it. It's so funny. Find my R though here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take my Herald bot lane. These guys are being pests. That's kind of bot lane by himself at the moment as well. It's a great ward right outside of the bush. <laughs> Give me the Q, W. It's not really what I wanted, but I have the shield. Surprise Zed came all the way back. I must have been on a ward. He knew I was going to come over here. W, auto, Q, R. Got the Evelyn snared off that as well. Got a big heal there. Got it, my knight on Zed. I don't think he's gonna die though, yeah. Milio Perma. Perma 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 healed him. He's got flash as well still. Go ahead and just TP to this. Rengar, I don't know what he's doing. Guess he said, Olaf, do you wanna see where I am? Enemy team, do you wanna see where I am for free? Alright, I'll walk out over here. He I mean he has his R, <laughs> but he just wanted to walk up and say hello, I guess. We need a proper fight. Healing for 344 on my passive. When I get my shield, it is blocking 203. It's increased to nearly 400. It's almost doubled if there's more than one nearby enemy champion. Tremendous. What a snare, what a snare. Jack's coming up. I got to get down some, some of my E here. If I can perma CC the Z or the Eve, gotta stay on top of somebody, but I will need my teammates to kind of follow up. Emilio, speed up, broken. W auto into Q. That's actually so important. Well, I think I'm a goner here. 
No, maybe not. Still have my auto heal as well. If my teammates let me auto attack. W, auto into Q. Rengar saving his buttons for next game there. Now he wants to stay hidden <laughs> when he's in range to actually attack. All right. With the W auto into Q. Kaiser just dies by walking in the turret. I got killed by Evelyn. Interesting. Evelyn popped me with her R. That really hurt. Demonic's going to make a huge difference. If they end up walking into my E, it's going to make it to where they lose similar health to a Shaco box. A Demonic Shaco box. So, or, or anywhere from a fifth to a third of their health, depending on how squishy they are. Wow, they had true vision of Talon there. I guess Jin R must reveals. Kind of need dragon. Don't want to be having to give that away. Wow, all right, all right. Rengar should speed up. There it is. Eve's very low mana. She can't do anything here. This is a free fight. The fruits are up, dragons up. My R should hit, and my R hits, we get a speed up. Wow, Jin's that fast. Incredible. His auto range is more than my W range, so I can't really get to him right now. Gotta just kite this guy out, get him with Qs and stuff. He pops R. I can get him with my W now. Cool, cool, cool. That decided to split top side at a very strange time. Probably should have stuck with this team. He's going to Krugs. We can handle that. Yeah, I think I need to just go demonic next for the damage output. Hmm, that disappeared. Maybe he's on our red. Nice, got everything. It's already blocked 2,400, quite a lot. No clue what Eve's doing over here. We're up two dragons. If we can take away the Eve Dark Souls, we're good to go. She does not perform well without those. Keep setting up some E's. They're doing 355. That's quite a lot. I don't have any AP items, and I only have two points in E. So if it's in bush, it's 355. If it's not in bush, it's only 168. It's about half. Hey, Zed. I'm moving 380. He's moving 410. What in the world? He's quick. Try to get the Evelyn. W. Get her the QR. We put the R sideways on her to get it there a little bit quicker. She does end up getting away with her R though. E in the bush. That Milio thing, outrageous. W into Q. It's an AOE slow. Nice, nice, nice. Give me the red, yes. It's a lot of healing. It, it's good on Kaisa, but I think we could do a lot with it here. The amount that they're split pushing, these guys are kind of doomed. I think Olaf's wandering around. We'll put that in center. We don't see him. Yep, there he is. There's only one full item. He's so screwed. Auto to Q. I'm going to save W for the Evelyn. She doesn't want to focus me here. Olaf's out of his R duration. Oh, he popped Ghost. No wonder he's able to get away so quick. All right, I guess I got a turn. This is when having some kind of speed up item on Maokai is really nice. Got the Jin. W auto move behind him, try to get the Q. We were not able to though. 
He got cleansed by Melio. Get him with the W. Auto step behind him. Q. He's ignited. Get him with the. Yeah, I guess maybe I'll go for Melio. He's a scumbag. Goodbye, Melio. Mm, I'm tanky. Cannot get to him. His auto range is outranges my W unless he messes up. W in the Q. I don't know if I got creep blocked there, if I just had a bad movement, but was not able to get behind him there with my Q to push him into my teammates. Could have just been sloppy clicks. I'm pretty low. I'd prefer to back here. A little laugh against Rengar. Oh, here's Eve. W auto into Q. Pike just straight up saved her with his combo there. I had a Q knock and yeah, that's unfortunate. We have to run all the way now. We can't stay. All right, we see where she is. Man, it's a demonic or do we pick up some movement speed? So we just go for demonic here. Thing is, if we land our R, we get super sped up anyways. But instead of going for Jin, I think going for Milio would be a lot easier. He's cleansing the Jin, healing him, and Jin already has the fast boots. Milio probably has zero tenacity in his runes because he doesn't have precision tree. Plus, on the resolve tree, there's a good chance he didn't take it. He didn't take unflinching. No Merc treads. Hey, friends. That's so broken, but I got him with my little guy. W, all to move behind him in a Q. Pike. I think Pike literally just flipped him away from me. It's not the first time. W, move behind him into Q. He gets cleansed again. Can't even get behind these guys before Melio pulls him out of it. Nice. And a nice. Dragon's coming up. We probably don't need it, though. They don't have a proper front line to match me. Like When I go in with my R, who's to stand against it? Sunfire's making me tank the turrets here. I gotta back up. Cut out the Olaf. Time out the R. There he is. He's dead. W auto. Try to get him with my Q slow. Kaisa died immediately. Zed still has R, I'm pretty sure. Get him, try to get him with the Q there, straight out of his R. Got him with the snare, let's Rengar finish him. I have to leave. They're all spawning in, base speed up, gold spent. Fight with the team. Almost have the demonic. After demonic, I am going to go dead man's. I want some movement speed. Enemy team is rather quick. Hey, friend. Auto Q, W, R. We got basically nothing out of that. Auto Q. Push him away from the pike there. It's whatever. We don't have the kill potential right now. Melio's broken, man. He really is. So much healing. The healing and cleanses, it's, it's kind of like a, if a Soraka had a cleanse, but you took away 30, 40% of her heals. W auto, cure away from drag. No drag for her. Got it with my Q, we're chilling. My little sapping blew up on Jin. that's hilarious. Goodbye, Jin. Exhaust went to waste. Goodbye, Melio. W auto in the Q. Can't really get them underneath turret. Olaf's going to be tanky with the Jack Show setup. We do have minions mid. W auto in the Q. His R is going to get timed out. Yep. Auto Q. Not the best R. Auto Q. Hmm. There's my shield. 
Shield blocked all of that. Wow, and <laughs> Rengar one taps, cool. Whew, our healing, man. 600 on passive right now. That's why Warmogs is so useless. Oh, there's only one champion in the game who unironically builds Warmogs is a high win rate item, and it's Soraka. Zach, Cho'Gath, Scion, there's not a single tank. If they were to buff Warmogs to 1,000 health instead of 800, we'd probably see it a little bit more. But it needs 1,000 health. Because as is... Dude, there's so many items in League that do max health damage. Bork, Leandris, Demonic. Uh, I forget what that other item's called. Lord Dominic's Regard. And even Divine and Eclipse. Get him around the wall. Nice cleanse, buddy. Because they lose vision as they go around the wall, so we can walk into him and they don't really see it coming. Drop the R. Very cool. Speed up W. I'm going to keep going for the Jin. I think that speeds up my allies when I pop that. When you pop that plant in your eyes, it gives them a little speed up. That blues for me. Aola. We're on trip drags. I guess we're playing for soul at this point. Nakai soul is pretty scary. I didn't even get to assist. That's a demonic though. We'll go for... We have so much damage, I don't think we need heal cut right now. All of the enemies are dying regardless of their self-healing to where I think it's best if we just go for... We need moon plate for some extra movement speed to get our W on top of people. There goes Rengar. I don't have R. Oh no, don't do it, Chin. No, the damage. He's <laughs> got Lord Domps. Kai's is gonna get got by that Evelyn here in a second. Oh, Evelyn's bot for some reason. Hey Zed, W auto cute. Wow, nice Kaisa burst. Get him with the Q, I don't even need to auto him first. We'll time him out. Auto W, move behind, QR, ignite. Get with the E, auto, and the Q. See, I have way more damage than this guy. He's, he did, Jin did zero damage to me and I almost killed him. That's the tank difference, baby. Not a close fight. Demox already done 500, Sunfire's done 3,000. This is blocked 7,000 damage. My goodness. All right, let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, enemy champions, we were number three in the game. Gotta love that tank damage output for damage taken. We were number one in the game. And for self-mitigated, we were number one in the game. I'm a little surprised by that, simply because we didn't have many deaths. And most of the time, the enemies were running away from us to where they would not interact. But that, that is absolutely fantastic. For runes, lots of value. All in all, Maokai Top is a crazy hard carry. Certainly, the game will be much slower paced, lower gold income against ranged champions in the early game. But for the most part, if you play it safe in lane and you get your mana flows with Qs, you don't shove wave too hard early on, and you're just patient, you hit level 6 without dying, you should be good to go. My name's King's... If you guys enjoyed this Maokai video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.